Welcome back to Huchos. Today on Huchos, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this. This is a feature wall of plywood finished with the Japanese wood burning technique, Shao Suji Ban. Now I've almost certainly got the pronunciation of that wrong. Shao Suji Ban. Yep, I got it wrong. However, the technique remains the same. Now the traditional technique was practiced on a Japanese cedar. So this is at best a derivation of the technique, but as you can see, it has some stunning effects as demonstrated behind me. So to begin with, let's start with the tools that you'll need to perform this task. So obviously you're going to need some plywood. Here I've got 19 millimeter non-structural ply. We'll need a propane or LPG canister to heat torch conversion kit. So uh, this is one that's available from Bunnings and it's relatively cheap. I think it's about 80 or 90 bucks. And to go with that, we'll also need a gas cylinder. Now, because I'm going to be routing the edges um, at a 45 degree chamfer, we're going to need a router and some router bits. So in this is a 45 degree chamfer bit, which I'll be using for the corners for the edges to give us a nice clean look. All right, so first things first, we're going to connect up our blowtorch to our gas container and put on our large head. So that's what it looks like. And it just screws on. The reason I'm routing the edges and not just leaving them as flat is because I'm an amateur at this and I don't want the edges to look like they misalign or anything. So this will just help with that effect. We can then light up our torch and start burning the top layer of the plywood. This chars parts of the wood whilst leaving other parts uncharred, giving this method its distinctive look. So I just want to quickly show you the difference between the clean edge and the charred edge because you can see the outline of that panel comparative to the outline of this panel and the charred edge on this panel. So it's really hard to decide between the two. The reason I decided to use this method originally was because I needed a way of cladding the internal of my studio in a visually attractive and budget friendly way. This method actually preserves the wood and allows the natural grain to come through at the same time and once natural oils are applied to the wood, this creates a really nice long-term surface effect. As you can see here, it's almost akin to pressure washer porn. I really, really enjoyed this project and the act itself was almost cathartic. If you've got any stresses in your life, I can highly recommend this as an activity. So once I had all of my ply sheets prepared with the method, it was time to insulate and clad the studio area that I had planned to clad. I'm definitely not an expert in this area, so I'm not gonna give any advice, but insulating is pretty simple. You just cut your insulation to size and fit it in behind your boards. I then mounted the plywood panels with metal screws that just punk straight through the plywood and into the metal studs of my studio shed. Now this would have been a lot easier if the studs were 600 apart, but unfortunately this was not made to general housing specifications. Otherwise these sheets would have been perfect. And this is the result. Now this is laid out in a checkerboard pattern with the grain going one way and then another and then repeated except one across on the next row. The look is extremely busy, but I really like the wooden textured approach. There is not a single repetition of pattern and it makes for a really interesting and budget friendly cladding. Plywood is available almost everywhere in the world and if you're thrifty, you can pick it up dirt cheap. The chamfer on the edges hides a lot of the inconsistencies in the wall due to the non 600 spacing. And it also gives a visually pleasing corner where the sheets meet. 
Now, I am definitely not a carpenter, so please don't take any of the methods that I use to clad this wall as definitive. I just wanted to share with you the experience that I had making and erecting this wall by using a burnt plywood technique, and hopefully that gives you some inspiration for a project that you have yourself. Thank you for watching today, and Happy show Sogi Ban. Yeah. I'll see you next time on Who Chose.